Hi, Ron Wilson here. Just wanted to talk to you a little bit about test data management. Test data is data that testers use to create or execute test cases and typically in a testing environment. That data can be created uh, through the use of tools or SQL statements. It also can be pulled down from production environments and put into the testing environments. There's been a lot of focus on personal uh, information, uh, such as social security numbers, credit cards, uh, that information that is critical for the people that have them. It's also pretty dangerous because if it gets in the wrong hands, uh, those people can use them to uh, do bad things with. So uh, there's been a lot of scrutiny around test data management recently with some of the hacking and other things that have occurred uh, with Target, uh, Home Depot, and some other companies like that where people have gone in and got the data and then misused that information for a personal or commercial gain. Test data management also is a pretty complicated piece of the testing process because a lot of times it takes 30 to 40% or more of a tester's or developer's time, especially when that data is not accurate to begin with. So development has to investigate. Testers also spend a good bit of time uh, figuring out what scenarios are needed and then trying to figure out what data is needed. There are some tools out there today like grid tools, uh, Informaticus TDM and some other um, well-known uh, companies have attempted to create tools to help with test data management. Those tools have come a long way, but I think they've still got a good ways to go. But uh, these companies will claim, you know, their significant savings it's really a good idea to do a proof of concept or a proof of value to really determine if these tools are gonna to be helpful or not for your specific needs. But it is something that you really should investigate because there is savings there. And anytime you can save testing time, you've got a faster speed to market. So those things are always beneficial. Hopefully this uh, little introduction has helped you a little bit get a better understanding of test data management. Look over my other videos on YouTube. Also look at my blog, qarevolution.com, and you'll get better understanding, better information about testing. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation. Thank you. Bye.